my name is Olivia and today I'm going to show you how to cut Hotfix Lace provided by HotfixLace.com. We're going to start out today with a 12 by 12 sheet, but we have the ability to produce smaller sheets or any size even up to a roll of Hotfix Lace. This is our Princess Blue. We're going to start out by putting it on a cutting mat. You're going to put it in the top left corner. We're using a really sticky sticky mat, so make sure to get all of the bubbles and wrinkles out. So you're just going to want to smooth this out the best that you can. Once you have that set, you're going to take your cutting mat and load it into the Cricut. We're going to cut one of our stock designs, but you have the ability to use your cutter, a graph tech, a cameo, or even a laser cutter to cut whatever custom or stock designs that you can think of. We'll eject the lace, and then we're going to just peel the lace off of the cutting mat. As you can see here, we actually have two layers. There's the lace with the hotfix blue adhesive on the back, and there's also this white transparency type paper. This is just to protect the adhesive, so if you're going to store it or you're going to use this sheet for later, so you're going to want to keep that on there while you're peeling this off, but since we're using a sticky mat, sometimes it gets a little stuck, so you'll just be careful when you're peeling it. So once this sheet is pulled away, you can see you still have plenty of usable lace, so you'll want to keep that, but you can see you're left with the design that we've cut out. So you're just going to then peel this off the cutting mat. And now you have a design ready to be heat applied to any type of apparel, garments, scrapbooks, um, hard paper, even hard stock, hard stock you can apply to. Um, you do not have to use a heat press. You can use an iron, and we have detailed instructions for that on our website. Today we're going to be using a heat press. The reason we're using a heat press today is because we are actually mixing the lace with rhinestone transfers. So we're doing a mixed media product, and the rhinestones do require a heat press. So once I've placed, I went ahead and placed another lace transfer in here just for the sake of time of lining this up. You're going to peel this white backing off. And this is just the protectant of the adhesive. And you'll see the back of the lace is a little bit shiny. And that's the adhesive. And then you're just going to place it onto the shirt and press it. And Kelly's going to show you how to press these transfers onto apparel. We're going to go ahead and put the transfer wherever you'd like on the shirt. I'm going to go ahead and center it up on our press. Stick it down. It'll stick to the shirt using the tape. And then we're going to press for about 14 to 17 seconds. Now we're going to release the press. Pull the shirt off, and we're going to do a cool peel. So we're going to let this cool down for just a minute. And then very gently, we're going to take the tape, tape off the top.
Now you have a great shirt ready to wear.